field for tonight's 10th race on the track and printing to the post. Number one, King and Doctor, owned by Barbara King. Randy Tharp drives. Two, Pudman, owned by John Oldfield with John Collins. Three, as time goes by, owned by Michelle Whitlock along with driver Larry Binkley. Four, Noble Design, owned by Tim Humrick and Tanya Ledford with Mike Wilder. Number five is Osborne's Gigolo, owned by Bill M. with Dave Hawk. Six is CL's Apollo, owned by National Trail Investment with David Miller. Seven is U.S. News, owned by Jim Arledge and Sturgill Lohman, driver change to Del S. Miller. Number eight is Perfect, owned by Tom Lovely with Jeff Fout. Nine, Best of the Class, owned by Brett Miller with Dean Collins. Ten, Max Public Enemy, owned by Ron Carbone. Main event racing stable, Ron Carbone will be in the sulky. That's the field for the 10th race, post time in three minutes. Field four, race 10 at the gate and moving through the turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off in pacing. Spurfect was off stride before the start. Way, way back there down the back stretch. Driving away on top from between horses as time goes by. Here comes Best of the Class charging up on the far outside. Noble Design splitting horses in third as they move midway on the turn. After that comes Pudman in fourth. From out of the second tier, Max Public enemy number one. As they move by this opening quarter mile pole in a fast 27 and one. Got a couple breakers further back in the field. CL's Apollo was off stride. Spurfect was off stride. Best of the classes got the lead. Here comes Pudman driven up on the outside with Osborne's Gigolo toward the inside. As time goes by, sits the pocket fourth. Around the clubhouse turn, noble design. Here comes King and Doctor. Moving up on the outside, Max Public Enemy looks to now wend his way through heavy traffic. After that comes U.S. News, Spurfect, and CL's Apollo by the half in a sharp 57 and 2. Six are hub to hub down the back stretch. Best of the class continues to lead the way. Pudman eyes him up on the rim second. Osborne's Gigolo rapidly moving into contention third. As time goes by, we'll need racing room in the passing lane from fourth. King and Doctor being nursed along in fifth. In between horses, Noble Design. Driving up on the far outside, Max Public Enemy. U.S. News is seventh as they race by three quarters in 126 and three. Field moves to the head of the stretch. Osborne's Gigolo with the most kick gains a short lead. Pudman is not done yet. Best of the class is fighting back along the rail. Driving up on the outside, King and Doctor. Max Public Enemy is closing too little, too late on the far outside. Osborne's Gigolo, Max Public Enemy second, Pudman will finish third. Here comes the unofficial winner of the 10th. Five Osborne's Gigolo, eight-year-old Bay Gelding by Osborne's first out of Osborne's Stripper. Owned in Lockbourne by Bill M., trained by Alex Spence, driven tonight by Dave Hawk. Covering the mound, 156 and 4. Number 5, Osborne's Gigolo, the unofficial winner of the 10th race. Bombs away here in the 10th. Windows are now up and on tonight's 11th race. Randy.